This skill will start with the opening. Knock and identify the patient. Introduce yourself by name and title. Describe what you will be doing and obtain permission. For this skill, the patient will be sitting in a chair by the bedside. Close the curtain and wash your hands. After washing your hands, place a barrier on the overbed table. Gather your supplies and set on the barrier, being careful not to allow the clean linens to touch your uniform as you gather the supplies. You will need a towel, two washcloths, basin, soap, lotion, an orange stick, and an emery board. If you are not familiar with where these items are located in your testing center, ask the evaluator to show you where the items are located. Take the basin to the sink and fill with water. Use a paper towel to turn the water on. Check the water temperature with the inside of your wrist and fill the basin one quarter to one half of the way full. Turn the water off with a paper towel and throw the paper towel away. Allow the patient to check the water temperature. Place the basin on the barrier and ask the patient to place her hand in the basin of water to soak. For the test, you will only need to soak one hand. Place the washcloths in the basin to wet. Gently lift the hand from the basin, wring one washcloth out, and apply soap directly to the washcloth. Wash all surfaces of the hand, observing for any redness, bruising, rashes, sores, or other abnormalities. Support the patient's hand at all times while washing. Make sure you wash all skin folds on the palm of the hand, especially around the thumb. Set the washing washcloth aside. Place the hand in the basin to rinse. Place the rinse washcloth to the side after rinsing. Gently lift the hand out of the basin and set on the towel. Dry all surfaces of the hand with your towel. Once the hand is dry, use the orange stick to clean under each of the patient's nails. Explain to the patient what you will be doing. Use the pointed end of the orange stick if the patient has very short nails, and use the slanted end, bevel up, if the patient has longer nails. You will slide the tip of the orange stick under the nail and roll it across the tip of the nail from one side to the other. Do not force the stick under the fingernail and watch for signs of pain. Wipe the orange stick on the towel after cleaning each nail. You will feel across the edge of each nail for rough edges. Any rough edges need to be smoothed with the emery board, filing in one direction only, from the side toward the middle. Repeat with every nail. After nail care has been completed, squeeze a small amount of lotion onto the palm of your hand and warm the lotion by rubbing your hands together. Apply the lotion to all surfaces of the hand, gently supporting the hand as you lift it. Wipe the excess lotion off with the towel. Gather your dirty linen and place in the hamper. You will also take your soiled basin to the sink and clean according to the basin cleaning procedures. Dump the water and rinse the basin. Turn off the water and set the basin down in the sink. Spray the basin with disinfectant spray. Use a paper towel to pick up the basin and dry the inside with a clean paper towel, then discard.
Use a clean paper towel to dry the outside of the basin and discard that paper towel. Finally, grab a third paper towel to open the drawer. On the way, pick up the soap and lotion and place in the basin. Open the drawer with the paper towel and slide the basin inside. Discard the orange stick, emery board, and paper towels. Remove the barrier from the table and discard all of these items in the trash receptacle. Ensure patient has access to the call light and her environment is neat and clean. Ask if she needs anything else. Open the curtain and wash your hands. Review the steps of your skill and tell the evaluator your skill is done. Need scrubs for your new career? Visit foryouruniforms.com and enter the code CNA video for a special discount. Need additional resources? For your CNA has what you need. With practice tests, an online workbook, instructional videos, practice kits and supplies, and our very own skills book with step-by-step -step instructions, you will feel confident when you take the CNA exam. Visit foryourcna.com today. Continuing education for CNAs are called in-services. In-services are now offered online at foryourcna.com.